Can you please lift your hands to Jesus? Wave your hands to Jesus. It may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask that you will minister to us today. And your name alone will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. I want to quickly turn into the scripture. Let's look at the word of God together. And I want to briefly explain the extra miles blessing. Can somebody say that? Extra mile blessing. Come on, you say that. I'm going to be looking at four aspects of the extra miles blessing. Extra mile blessing is received by revelation. It's received by what? It's received by what? It's received by revelation. Number two, extra mile blessing is accepted as an assignment. Can somebody say that? It's accepted by is accepted as assignment. Number three, extra my blessing is achieved by commitment. Somebody say commitment. Somebody say commitment. And lastly, extra my blessing is enjoyed by spreading. Now, let's quickly look at this before we go into the four aspect of extra my blessing and how we can move from the little league into the big league. We're talking about shifting our mindset, expecting great things from God, attempting great things for him, and becoming who God purpose and plan for us to be. And as I prayed this morning, I want to pray for somebody that from this moment, this 2020, you move from the little league to the big league. If your amen is better, receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Extra mile blessings. Extra mile blessings. I said the first thing we talk about the extra mile blessing is that it is received by revelation. Now, when you talk about revelation, you are talking about supernatural disclosure. When you talk about revelation, you're talking about divine enlightenment. When you talk about revelation, you're talking about God opening your understanding to grasp the importance of what he's saying. That your eyes of understanding may be opened. There are people who are better than they are because what they receive and what is revealed to them is greater than what is revealed to every other person. Your level of growth is determined by the level of your revelation. Anyone who has a deep understanding and revelation, it is unstoppable. Can I also tell you this morning, what you receive by revelation, you cannot lose by opposition. You see people who God has given deeper revelation. Let's look at this young man, Jabez. In fact, his story was not a very good one at the beginning. But I have this confidence and understanding. It doesn't matter how you start. What matters is how you end. After all, the raid is not the swift. It is God who gives us speed to do beyond and be beyond our capacity and knowledge. Listen to me, church. Everyone who has been blessed very well are blessed because of the revelations they have received. Everyone who has become somebody in life are blessed because God opened their eyes. Everyone who has been great in life, God will deposit the amount of revelation that will move them from the level they are to the level they are going to be. There are so many in the Bible. But I love the revelation that Joseph caught. 
Joseph was not the firstborn. And in Israel, the firstborn has very, very, they, they have undue advantage. Firstborns. Immediately you are the one that is the firstborn son in the Bible, you receive the double portion of what every other person received. But look at it. Yes, he was the firstborn of the beloved of his father. But was not the firstborn recognized by law. And the father loved him. The father loved him so much that he set him aside from every other person and gave him a coat of many colors. And so, Joseph, everywhere he was going to, was significant. Can I pray for somebody today? God will make you significant among your brethren. Yeah. Say amen. It's something quite your call. I say you will be significant in 2020. Yeah. I say you will be significant in your place of work this year. Yeah. If you can say the loudest amen, let the anointing of significance enter into your life. If your amen is better than your neighbor, be the first to receive a double portion. Joseph, he was the same. He was, he was with everything like every other person until God appeared to him and said, look, I'm going to give you a revelation. You might look at yourself as every other person, but you are different. What you carry is different from what every other person carries. You have the anointing to become someone who is going to be dishing out the blessing for your brethren. But he saw the revelation. He couldn't contain it as a young man. Went to his brothers and told, him, told them, look, see what God is saying. Every one of you, I will be the pillar of this family. I will be the one who everybody will be bowing down to. And the brother said, are we going to serve this small boy? Are we going to be the one to be serving this small boy? Let's kill him and let's see what will become of a tree. See, revelations definitely we attract opposition. But what you get from revelation, opposition cannot take it away from you. And so they planned, conspired, and removed his clothes and put him in prison, in pit, in pit, sold him into slavery. And he went through all these things, but at the end of the day, those who wants to kill him still bow down to him. Brethren, I want to pray for you today. The Lord will reveal the greatness he has deposited in your life. The world law will open your understanding to see that you are going to be great in life. The Lord will open your eyes to discover that you are not ordinary. As anyone who is graced can never be disgraced. And let me tell you this, church. Be rest assured. That even if you have not gotten your revelation yet, I tell you, by the grace of God, this week, this week, the Lord will open your eyes in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Listen to me, church. Everyone who will be great, God can deposit revelation to you in form of an idea. He can just give you an idea. When we were younger, when we were small, what we learned, what we, what, what we used to see was people carrying buckets, buying block, and putting it inside the bucket and put cup on it. And go from one place to the other, selling water inside the cup. I don't know how many of you have seen that before. How many of you are, are old enough to know what I was saying, talking about? Wave your hand if you are. I have much more people here. Somebody look at it, sat down in a place and say, see, they carry bucket, they put water, they put block, and then they sell. 
What happened if I put it into such a and start selling it? Somebody will just look at it and sit down and say, what happened if I just decide to put this thing in, in, in such a and start selling it? And when he will tell people this, they will laugh him to scorn and say, you must be mad. What do, how, will you bag, how, how will you bag water? Who have you ever seen that bag water before? He said, you have not seen what I am seeing. Because you are at a level they are not understanding. And then he packaged the water, began to sell it, and then became very big. And every other person began to sell pure water. I tell you, the amount of pure water I buy in a year now. If you calculate it, Baba Wa, if you calculate the amount of pure water we buy in a year now, we are contributing to somebody's wealth. Somebody's making money with us drinking water. Do you know? The first person who starts a thing is always opposed and rejected. Sometimes they would say that person is a pervert. Do you know the first person who wake up in the day and decide maybe he, he was a, 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 a he has a lot of cows. He has a lot of cows in his in his uh, what do you call it in his ranch? Is it cattle ranch? Yes, ranch. And then one day he, 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 he saw he saw milk coming out of the the cow. And he, he looked at himself. He said, "This milk can be packaged and sold." Now somebody started to get milk from cow. And when you would tell people and say, we can get milk from cow. We can drink the milk that is coming out of cow. They say, give up. So what do you say? I say, we can package. I have, I, I, I have an understanding that if we milk this cow, we can actually process the milk and start selling it. Everybody around him will say, you are a pervert. Meek from cow. You must be out of your mind. He will look he will about that one. I have a revelation. That we will start selling meek that is meek from cow. Everybody will look at him and say, you must be mad. He abandoned not every one of them. And began to meek his cow and began to sell the meek today. Cow meek, cow there, cow this, cow that, cow this, cow that. Somebody started it, man. Somebody started it. Somebody began it. See, when the Lord dropped a revelation in your mind, it might look very foolish to everybody. In fact, if everybody can understand the idea God gives to you, then it is small. It is small. Everything you have seen in this world, somebody began it. Somebody calls a revelation and says, we can make our joy. He said, we can make our journey shorter. He said, what? We can, we can make aeroplane. We can make aeroplane, and then the aeroplane will start flying. Everybody look at him and say, Aeroplane flying. What are you going to make with the aeroplane? Is it uh, carton? Uh, is it steel? We will put steel together. We will put the engine on it. And then we will put propeller. And then the, 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 the plane will take off from Nigeria and land in London. Say, are you out of your mind? The law of gravity will not allow it. Everything that goes up must come down. And the weight of steel cannot fly. I mean, how, how can you say, how can you even think that steel can fly? They say, watch. And then the, the Wright brothers came up together and decided to make, to make 
one small propeller engine like that flew maybe like 10 kilometers here and stop. We say, eh? Still can fly. Now, we have supersonic jets. We have, a, we have a, in fact, when I was reading about the Americans, uh, when Iran and America were all talking about um, going to war, America has a plane, a war plane, not visible to the most important radar. And it can fly for many, many hours without refueling. It has the capacity to refuel when it is still flying. <laughs> And you will see, he will accomplish his mission without landing, go back to where he took off without anybody noticing. But somebody began, you know. That's why the Bible says, don't despise the day of small beginning. See, put your hand on your head and say, Father, give me an idea that will change the world. Say it again. Say, Father, give me a revelation that will change the world. If you are going to be blessed, brethren, you must receive by revelation. Number two, you must accept whatever you have seen as an assignment. Listen, church, listen to this. It is better to die for something than to live for nothing. It is better. What is your assignment? I mean, what is your assignment? There are people who do not understand their assignments. But brethren, listen to me. When Jabez was young, the mother, I don't know what his story was. The mother just says that you are a child of sorrow. You are a child of sorrow. I bore you in pain. And every time they are playing football, every time they are playing football, Jabez will come around. Everybody says that child of sorrow has come again. Every time he comes into a situation, everything turns upside down. When he was looking for the wife, he approached a young lady, and the young lady says, you, child of sorrow, God forbid. I remember when some people were looking for wife, husband. <laughs> One of my friends, he saw a young man, loved the young man. But do you know the surname of the young man? Did not allow the woman to marry him. His name was Sumami. And so, the lady calculated it. So, my name eventually will now come to become Mrs. Rita Sumami. He said, No. He said, No. I love names. Like Adegoke. I love names like Okoroako. I love names like Williams. That one sounds very sweet. Williams. I love names. I, lo I love names like Mr. Smith. You know? Mr. Sumanu. Mrs. Sumanu. <laughs> I know what. I know what. And that is the reason why the guy, the girl did not marry the guy. Because of the name. Well, you don't even know where the name came from. <laughs> Mrs. Sumonu. You check her. Wrote it down. And so, if I now go to my place of work, people will now start calling me. Mrs. Chidaya Sumonu. <laughs> Mrs. Chidaya Sumonu. Ah, you check her. You know, no rhyme. He said, I'm sorry, I can't marry you. He said, what? Why? He said, your son name. Your son name cannot allow me to marry you. Is that serious? But people like us who have good names, I think, okay. Immediately I talked to my wife, I accepted it one time. Bam. 
Because the name rhymed. Mrs. Rita Rufus. Sweet. Sweet. Mrs. Precious Kalu. Sweet. Mrs. Define Gift Eze. Sweet. Baba Okoro. Sweet. Who is talking there? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Everywhere Jabez went to, everybody will see him. That boy that is carrying that accursed name is coming again. You know, sometimes he will happen to you through association. Don't associate with him. Cast. Don't come close to him because if you come close to him, the evil will rub off on you. And so everybody, immediately they see the young man coming, they roar. And probably, the Bible does not say this, probably he was not the only one who was bearing evil names in his generation. Because what will give a mother the boldness to name a child that kind of name if there are no precedents. And so he gave him the name Sorrow. I bear you in pain. Let pain follow you for the rest of your life. The young man looked at it and said, No. Somebody said, No. Somebody said, No. Let me tell you this. Maybe I should use it as a prayer for you. Every pronouncement that is working against your life today, we are going to write them off. Oh. Somebody did not say amen. Every pronouncement from anyone born of a woman that is working against your destiny and remove their influence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh my God, you are not hearing me. Everywhere they have mentioned your name and they have attached it to evil, I change it in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has carried everything that has to do with you and they have tagged it with evil, I change it in the name of Jesus. And the young man knew that he was on an assignment not to die with sorrow. And then the Bible says he turned to God. Somebody say turn to God. Every revelation that God gives you is a form of an assignment. He caught a revelation and decided to say, man, 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 my mom named me Jabez. I will go to the one who is more superior to rename me. There is a grace in the house for renaming. Am I talking to somebody? I said there is a grace in the house for him naming. Let me tell you this. Your name is going to change from failure to success. Oh my God. Your name will change from poverty to riches. Your name will change from sickness to health. Your name is changing from barrenness to fruitfulness. I declare and declare for you today, God is changing your name. God is changing your name. God is changing your name. You see, I'm turning to God. The mother said, see, you will die in sorrow. He said, now you hold your talk. As for me and my house, we know who to turn to. And plead our cause. And the young man came to God. He went to God and began to pray. And that is where the number three thing came in. See, you must know your assignment, though. And there are some assignments that also come to us unexpectedly. I was reading the story of the former Miss USA, a black woman. In fact, the first black Miss USA. She was, she was selling, she was in the army, she was also selling as a part-time in Walmart. And one white woman come into the, 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 came into the place where she is, and look at her, look at her, look at her, and said, you can be Miss Teens USA. He looked at her, he said, no one in the army is allowed 
to do pageantry, to participate. He said, it's come to me. Give me a stand. He gave her the books, gave her a lot of things. The first time she tried, she failed. Second time, she failed. Third time, she failed. She called the woman and said, are you, are you sure of what you are saying? I've tried this three times, I've failed. He said, try again. Try the fourth time, she failed. Try the fifth time, she failed. Then she has passed the level of Miss Teen. And then the woman said, go ahead and apply for Miss USA proper. And then she applied for Miss USA proper. After applying for Miss USA, then that was the sixth time. Guess what? She won. And she became the first black person who became Miss USA. Listen to me, church. The story was told about Susan Rice, the former uh, Secretary of State of the U.S. She was a young lady, very small. And so they went, they, they, their school, because she went to a very good school, the school went to the U.S. house, the White House, for, um, for an excursion. And she was the only black lady among everyone who went there. And so when they got to a place, they stopped her and said, no, you can't go beyond this point. And she turned to her teacher and said, why? She said, because you are black. Because you are black, you can't pass this, this one. And she turned to the mother and said, the mother and said, mom, why is it that every, other of, every one of my friends entered into that place and they didn't ask, ask me, say, you won't understand. You are limited by the, your skin color. And so when the young lady came out of the White House, she stood in front of the house, White House, and said, I am coming back. And I'm not coming back as a visitor. I am coming back to White House to have an office there. That is power in declaration and proclamation. Guess what? Several years after, several years after, she became the Secretary of State for the United States of America. And then what? She has an office at a place where they did not allow her to enter as a child. See, see, can I tell you this today? The limitation is in your mind. The limitation is in your mind. If you make up your mind and you recognize your assignment and you stay in your assignment, I tell you sincerely, even if they gather, they will fail. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because God is with you. He, this, his name is Emmanuel. He, his name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel is God is with us. Brethren, do you know your assignment? Do you know the reason why God brought you into this church? Do you know the reason why God made them to give back to you in that family? Do you know why God saved you? I have a lot of friends. When I was growing up and we were in school, I did a lot of bad things. And I have quite a lot of my friends who died. Who died. In fact, one of them is a pastor now. He was in prison for more than 20 years. Our dawn. He's a pastor now. But look at what I'm trying to say to you today. In the midst of all of them, in the midst of all of them, God spared me and saved me. We are designed, designed for the purpose. We are not, we, 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 we are not an accident of geography. Do you know, when you are coming to this world, you have outrun millions. Before your conception, it was like, on your mark, set, go. And in the midst of everyone that was supposed to, be, to fertilize that egg, you ran faster than everyone. So the grace to be fast is already in you. What you just need is the activation. It is just like buying a SIM card. See, that SIM card 
that you buy for 200 naira has the capacity to connect the USA. But until you insert it in a phone, until it is activated, it is useless. Why you are not making it, why you are not getting anything done, is because you are yet to be activated. Can I pray for you today? God will activate your destiny. Oh my God, God will activate your destiny. I say, God will activate your destiny. If you believe, can you say louder, amen? Amen. You achieve. You receive by revelation. You accept it as your assignment. Number three, you achieve it by commitment. Mm. There are people who will tell you, you're on too much. You are doing too much. You are going too far. See, going too far will take you very far. Going too far will do what? We take you very far. Going too far will do what? Going too far will do what? We take you far. Extra commitment. Extra push. You do things that every other person will not do. Commitment. 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 Whatever you are committed to, I tell you sincerely, even if it will not give way, eventually you will succeed at the end. They talk to, who was this man who, who make electric bulb? The man that make electric bulb is what? Is what? Eh? Who? Are you sure? The, the one that make light bulb? No, it's not Albert. It's not Albert. Is between Thomas Edison and Michael Faraday. Eh? Thomas Edison. It's not Albert. <laughs> it's not Albert. Albert gets his own sense. He says no reach this level. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They told him 10,000 times he tried to make a bulb. He failed 9,000 times. 999 times. And they ask him, why? He said, he said you have failed 9,999 9, times. He said, no. I have discovered 9,999 way that you cannot do it. There are people who try this business, fail. Try this business, fail. Try this business, fail. Try this business, fail. You, you know the story of the man, I've told you so many times, the man that discovered or made this WhatsApp that all of you are talking about, all of us are talking about. The man was looking for work, applied to Twitter, they said no. Applied to Facebook, they said no. He went home, began to discover, develop his um, WhatsApp. After, this, the, after he developed WhatsApp, Facebook Eventually bought it from me for one billion USD. Somebody who will have been inside Facebook and will have developed the WhatsApp and it will have been the property of Facebook from the scratch. Sometimes every rejection, every rejection, every closed door, his gargo wants to open a better world. Do not, do not despair that they shut you down, shut you up. Don't worry. Every time God wants to move you forward, there are people who will oppose you. I, I, who have me precious, I have never, never in my life pick offense in men. There are people who God used to teach me. There are people who God used to polish me. But anyone God used to polish you, they are like sandpaper. After the sandpaper you finish, you'll be smooth, and eventually they will do what? Don't worry yourself. Just face your assignment. Be committed to whatever you want to do, God has given you to do. If you are a lecturer, lecture very well. 
If you are a carpenter, carpenter are very well. If you are a cook, cook very well. If you are a student, student very well. If you are a singer, singer very well. If you are a pastor, pastor very well. If you are a wife, wife very well. If you are a husband, husband very well. If you are a sitter, sit very well. If you are a gossiper, repent. <laughs> repent. If you are a keyboardist, keyboardist very well. See, whatever you do, do it with swag. Do it with a difference. Let them come and tell you how you do them. Tell them, say, yeah, it's not difficult. Change your steppings, change your style. Be committed. That's what I'm trying to say. Be committed. Lastly, you enjoy by spreading. Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Before they can make him honorable by his brethren, that means he's a good giver. See, if you close your hand, look at this. If you close your hand, yes, nothing will come out of it. But nothing will also enter. Is it, not, is it not true? Is it not true? If I close my hand like this, nothing will enter inside. But nothing will also come out of it. I mean, nothing will come out of it, but nothing will also enter. Brethren, spread love. Brethren, spread money. You are a channel of blessing. You are what? A channel of blessing. You are what? A channel of blessing. There has got to be extra my blessing that will rain down from heaven. There are some of you who will be so big that you will look at me one day and just decide to give me one million. Ah. They are not even saying the amen. amen. You can just you can just come to me. You say, Pastor. You say, Pastor. Have somebody given you one million before? I said, no, yeah. Okay, okay. Take this one million. Manage. Thank you for that one. Manage this one million. And then, that kind of uh, offering, the kind of prayer with the call. In fact, before the offering drop, the prophecy will start coming. Let me jump. <laughs> there are some offerings that make pastor jump. Listen to me, church. And listen very well. See, when God blessed you, things that you think are very expensive will become very cheap. It is when you don't have money. Amen. It is when you don't have money that you can grow annoyed. It's too expensive. It is because you don't have the money. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. But if you have the money, uh, there was a time somebody came to me. Earlier, I used to travel a lot. I used to travel a lot. I did travel a lot. And so I stopped. Somebody came to me and said, ah, you are not traveling again. I asked, I asked the person, I said, when I was traveling a lot, my head was not correct very well. <laughs> he said, why? He said, because by now I put calculator, check the amount of money I will use for flight, check the amount of money I will use to lodge in a hotel in London, check the amount of money I will use to do everything. I calculated it. I discovered that if I push it in my house, eh, it can reach about 1,000 blocks. And so I convert it to a house. But now the house is almost finished. Amen. And then I can now start traveling again. And, 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 and. There are some pastors, don't tell, don't tell him I tell you. There are some pastors that at church used to send them to London. Don't tell anybody I'm telling you. There are some churches that send their pastor to London. They say, Pastor, go and do it. Go and, go, go, go and rest. 
When you come back, when you come back, when you come back with that person anointing, it will be great. Don't tell, don't, tap somebody. don't tell anybody I'm telling you this. It is a secret. It's a secret. Pastor Mike, it's a very big secret. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell them. Don't tell anybody. That's, you can, you can, you can say, Pastor, Pastor, come and go to America. Go to America and go and pray. It's not only on the mountain they pray. <laughs> Sometimes the prayer you do in America works faster. <laughs> ah. hey, I, am I telling you the truth? Ah, it's true. The prayer you pray in America and London. You know, there are some demons who understand Hebrew. There are some demons who understand Yoruba. But there are some demons that it is American slang. They understand. And so you go there, say, I'm going to cast you out. I'm going to cast you out in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and then the demon will say, oh, this is an international person speaking. Yes, sir, I am off. Shall we stand up together? Lift up your hands and give God praise and glory for such a wonderful word. He has sent forth his word and his word healed and delivered them from their destruction. The Lord has sent forth his words to us. Bless the Lord for his word that he has sent your way this morning. God has sent a word your way, my way, this morning. It's about commitment. It's about an assignment, a revelation, and to spread. Give God praise for his word. Straight forth your hands towards our Father who has blessed Straight forth your hands and say, Lord, increase him, anoint him, that this word he has released to us also be a partaker. He will also be a partaker will also be a partaker. Bless the Lord. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Better amen. Can you shout a better amen? I would love that you hold somebody one-on-one -on -one and then we just pray in minutes. We just pray in the next 10 minutes. Just one to one. Look for somebody that will pray for you. We are going to go to us of the scriptures where we read in first verse number 10. The Bible full cord two full cord cannot be broken. They can two walk together except they agree. And the Bible talking about the power of two. It says, whatsoever two of you shall agree concerning a matter, it shall be established. The Bible talking about two says that one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase how many thousand? Ten thousand. And that is the calculation of God. From the scriptures where we read, I would love to read with the Good News Version. Verse 10 said, But Jabez prayed to God of Israel. He said, Bless me, God, and give me much land. Be with me and keep me from anything evil that might cause me pain. Keep me from anything evil that might cause me pain. Keep me from evil. Deliver me from evil. Take me away from anything that will cause me pain. Lift up your voice to God this morning and say, Lord, take away evil from me. Whatever will cause pain in my life. This year, I stop them. I exempt myself from pains. Lord, I exempt myself from sorrow. The Bible says, he that dwelleth in the 
secret place of the most I shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I pray for my brother I pray for my sister if you shall not be fallen you shall be away from pain this year this season this moment this moment whatever will cause pain in my life Lord take it away from me whatever will cause pain in my family take it away from me see the Bible says and the Lord granted him somebody that knows that the Lord will grant you the answer to your prayers pray for the person you are holding Lord take away pain from the family of this brother take away pain from the life of this sister take away pain Lord let no pain come near her dwelling place let no pain come near her house let no pain come near her family somebody is not praying somebody is not praying be with me keep me from anything evil that might cause pain be with me keep me from anything evil that will cause pain you can be blessed and have peace but Jabez said not just to enlarge my coast but keep me away from evil keep me away from pain keep me away from evil keep me away from anything evil that will cause pain in my life keep me away from anything evil that will cause sorrow in my family Shatata. Money will meet money. Goodness will meet goodness. Prosperity will meet prosperity. Life will meet life. Joy will meet joy. That is your portion this year. That is your portion this year. That is your portion this year. Goodness will meet goodness. Joy will meet joy. Money will meet money. Goodness will meet goodness. Prosperity will meet prosperity. That is your portion this year. Keep me away from anything evil that will cause pain in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Look for another person at home. The Bible says some people came to Jesus and said to Jesus, Jesus, concerning this family, a family of seven, seven, he said, a woman married the first son and the first son died. And she went again and married the second son and the second son died. Down to the seventh son, say, and the seventh son died. So that means that family lost seven boys because of one woman. And they were asking Jesus, who will this woman, when, they, when we die and all go to heaven, who will be the real husband of the woman? You are going to pray this prayer. Whatever it is in my life and in my family that is about to truncate my destiny, that is about to cause sorrow, that is about to cause loss of any kind. Today, 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 your season in my life expires. Lift up your voice and turn it into prayer. Whatever is existing in my life and family that is about to cause sorrow, that is about to cause loss, there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. There there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. Be it boy, be it man, be it woman, whoever, whatever, this season of my life, there shall be no loss. Somebody decree upon your brother, decree over your sister, this season of my destiny, there shall be no loss. This season of my destiny, there shall be no loss. And Jabez pray, and Jabez pray, and Jabez pray, and the Lord had it. And Jabez pray, this season of my life, there shall be no loss. This season of my life, there shall be no sorrow. This season of my life, there 
assigned to cause sorrow. Any man, any woman, assigned to cause pain. Any man, any woman. Shatalagadabash. In my life, in my family, in our church, no loss. There shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. Decree over your life. Decree over your family. Decree over your job. Decree over your calling. Decree over your assignment. Decree over your commitment. Decree. Your assignment expires. Your assignment expires. In the name of Jesus. Shantalaba. Lift up your hands, everyone. I know some of us don't believe. And people are still saying that, ah, as long as you are a child of God, all this evil thing, don't be praying against it. Listen to me, you need to pray the world is evil. Whether you like it or not, we are living in a evil. In fact, as a matter, let me just say this. Let me say this. Listen. True story. True story. They came to me and said, Sir, what the, the madness that was meant for you, orchestrated by someone in our family, that it was meant for you. But when the arrow was fired, that there was a hedge around you. And so the madness went back to the son of the person that did it. Life story, life story, life story. It went back to the son of the person. I didn't know. I didn't. I was not aware. Life story. And all of us knew that that person was mad. Life story. But they say it was not for that person. It just became a victim of what his father orchestrated. Listen to me, child of God. Evil is everywhere. But I stand on this exalted altar and upon the grace of our father here. The pastor and our daddy of this church, Reverend Femi Adegoke, and I decree to someone, every evil arrow fired against your life, every evil arrow fired against your destiny, they shall receive back what they fired against you. Finally, there is a lady here. You've been having an overflow. Your, the flow has been much. It has been a thing of concern unto you. The flow has been unnecessary. You don't understand your flow. You don't understand it. But I pray after this season, that flow will cease. Come back and testify. Lift up your hands. This season, I decree over your life according to God's servant. This season shall be your season of blessing. Extra blessing, evil is not attached to it. Extra blessing, evil will not come near it. Money will meet money in your heart. Joy will meet joy in your heart. Prosperity will meet prosperity in your kingdom. If you believe it, shout amen three times.